Hello boys, my name is Techshowman and today I'm going to show you how to create automotive visualization like this in Keyshot. In the first part I'm going to show you how to prepare scene and create lightning and in the second part I will show you how to create all the materials. If you want to download this 3D model, link is in the description and big thanks to the designer RexFu who shared this model for free. Thank you man, let's render. The first step is to import our 3D model, so we are going to click on the import, we are going to find our 3D model, which is the McLaren FBX, and now we are just going to double click on this. Now it's importing, this will take just a couple seconds. This is how it looks in the key shot with basic materials, and I'm just going to delete this plane, because I already created in my 3D modeling software, so I'm just going to delete this one, and also this disk, so delete. And yeah, this is our car. So there is the couple steps and we are just going to create camera, lightning, materials and final adjustments. So let's start with the camera. I'm going to this camera tab, add new camera. We are going to change name to camera front. All right. And now I'm going to use the slider to make a little bit more interesting look or camera angle. So maybe like this. All right, I'm also going to use this inclination just a little bit and maybe like this. I'm going to turn on this grid view mode to make sure this car is completely in the middle. So just like this. All right. And now I'm going to play with these values a little bit more. So maybe like this. All right. I'm also going to change this focal length. So typically when you are working with the cars or architecture, you are going to move this slider a little bit more to the perspective view. So it will look a little bit more bigger. And if you are working with smaller objects like rings, watches, you are going to turn on this uh, orthographic mode a little bit more. So What's the typical focal length for automotive rendering? That's something like 45, 50, 60, sometimes 80. And for the javelry rings, it's 80, 105, 120. So we are going to use 45. All right, just like this. This will be a little bit small, a little bit lower, sorry. And all right, maybe like this. And I'm going to make it much more closer, just like this. All right, I'm going to turn off this grid mode. And yeah, this is how it looks. Very nice. And I'm going a little bit more down. I'm going to save the camera and lock the camera position. So now I can't really move with this camera. I need to go back to my free camera. Now I can rotate or even zoom out or zoom in. And if I need to go back to my camera, I just click on my camera front and I'm back in this camera angle. Before we start creating the lightning, we need to change a couple things on this car. We need to make this car paint a little bit more shiny so we can see what's happening with the lightning. And we need to add a little bit better this ground shadow. So we are going to the paint. We are going to use this rough material, just drag and drop to this car paint. And I'm going to double click on this car paint so we can edit this material a little bit more. I'm going to make sure this is completely black. And also I'm going to make it much more shiny. Something to like this. And I'm going to the edit, add geometry and add ground plane. All right, you can see we got this nice shadow. Double click on this ground plane and make sure this is completely black. And now, we can start working on our environment lightning. So I'm going to the environment tab, add new environment. We are going to change name to main environment. Oops, this is the mistake. So just like this. And now I'm just going to make sure in the settings, we are going to work with this occlusion ground shadow, flattened ground. All right, and I'm going to use the color not white, not black, but a little bit more brighter, just like this. All right, and you can see it's already start looking really interesting. Now we can create the lightning, so go to the HDRI editor, 
and we are going for the higher resolution we want completely black color on this canvas so there is no light visible all right and now we are going to add new pin which is add light so we got our first light on the front we can move this lightning just like this or we can use the set highlight tool and if i'm going to click on the side i'm going to highlight the side of car if i'm going to click on the hood i'm going to highlight the hood so this is the first lightning and we also need to change this lightning and i only need half of the size so i'm going to click on this half and i'm going to make this rectangular I'm going to change the size and I'm going to use this slider to make it a little bit more wider. So maybe like this, I'm going to use 80. I'm also going to increase the brightness to 8. All right. And I also need fall off. So this edge is soft. And if I'm going to work with whole light, you can see I got soft edges. If I'm going to split this light to the half size, I got one size, sorry, one side soft and one side hard so this is really nice effect and i'm just going to move this light on this canvas so maybe like this all right so we are going to create this shoulder line or shoulder light and i'm going to use this slider to make it a little bit more on specific spot so maybe like this and maybe like this no actually a little bit more up just like this yeah this is really nice and a little bit more to the right side yeah just like this a little bit more all right so maybe a little bit more yeah this looks really good just a subtle effect and i'm going to duplicate this light I'm going to bring it a little bit more down, just like this. All right. So, yeah, this is good. So maybe like this and a little bit more, a little bit more up. All right. Yeah, and we highlight this bottom a little bit more and also this tire. And I'm going to duplicate this light. I'm going to turn off this half. And I'm going to move this light a little bit more like this. All right. I'm going to make this intensity one. And also I'm going to decrease intensity on this light. I'm going back to this one and I'm just going to move it to see what looks good. So maybe like this. So. I'm going to the left, to the right. I'm just playing with the lightning. So up, down. Yeah, this looks really nice. So I'm going to duplicate this one and drag it to the top. And now we are going to finish this shoulder line a little bit more. So maybe like this. All right. I'm going to increase this brightness. And again, I'm going to use the slider to make it on the exact position. So maybe like this. And a little bit more down. All right, this looks actually really good also on the front. So let's duplicate this slide again. And I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to use this tool and I'm going to click right here. All right, so maybe like this. Uh, maybe like this i'm going to move it to the left side and a little bit more up all right i'm again going to use these sliders so maybe like this and a little bit more down all right so I'm going to create new light. I'm going for the rectangular design and I'm going to make it soft. 
on right and also I'm going to use the rounded corner so it's a little bit more like circular light and but it's not completely circular and I'm going just like this and I'm going to make it a little bit more narrow All right. I'm going to increase this brightness and I'm just trying to highlight this front as you can see this and this so maybe like this and I'm going to move it to the left side a little bit more and a little bit more up just a little bit this is really good I'm going to duplicate this light and I'm going to bring it a little bit more down all right but I need to make it just a tiny so I'm going to completely decrease this light brightness so maybe like this and I'm going to change it to circular this is all right maybe like this a little bit more up you can see the highlighting highlighting this bottom part so maybe like this all right this is actually really good and now i'm going to add new light again and i'm going to make it smaller and i'm also going to increase this fall off to one and I'm going to move this light a little bit like this all right so maybe like this a little bit more up I'm going to make it 10 yeah All right, I'm going to stick with 1.5. Yeah, this is really good. And I'm going to duplicate this light and I'm just going to move it a little bit more like this. All right. I'm going to make it much more smaller. And I'm going a little bit more up and a little bit more to the right side just like this again i'm going to create the new light i'm going to make it a little bit more brighter so maybe like two and i'm going to use the rectangular design this will be 50 this will be like the half so 25 and i'm going to use the fall off and rounded corner and I'm going a little bit more up, so I need to bring a little bit more lightning to this side. So maybe like this. This is actually really nice. All right, and this is our lightning. I'm also going to bring glass to this, so I'm going to find the glass basic material glass basic just drag and drop all right and i just want to see how this light is looking on this glass yeah it looks it looks really nice yeah this is our lightning so i'm going to render this hdri map in higher resolution let's make this render a little bit more brighter so we'll go to the settings and we are going to increase the overall brightness of our hdri map so maybe like this even more all right so just like this i'm also going to increase my contrast maybe like this and we can also rotate our hdri map just a little bit to see if we are going to create a little bit more interesting look so maybe like this yeah i really like this shoulder light so maybe just like this actually i like it Alright, so this is our final lightning. This is the end of the first part.
In the second part, we are going to finish this visualization and render final image. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the upcoming part. And as always, have a nice day and have a nice render. See you in the next one. Bye bye.